So far in this drawing we have placed levels, grids, columns and walls and uh, now we're going to place foundations. Uh, to begin with uh, we're going to add some columns underneath our steel columns. Looking in an elevation the steel columns finish at ground level. Uh, between ground level and the level of foundation where we have placed our wall we also uh, need to put um, concrete piers underneath the columns and these uh, will be also placed using column tool so highlight by double clicking uh, display hmm, floor one view and select column Occasionally, you will need to save the project. Um, in the column view, right column, and uh, we, we need a rectangular column. concrete rectangular column. Uh, pick any of the three types and then click edit type uh, because we want a column which is 600 by 600 by 600 millimeters. So we can duplicate this type and rename it to 600 by 600. Click OK and then do not forget to change the actual dimensions. 600 and 600. So we need to change the name and the dimensions. And now we have created the, the type. And we can simply place it at grids. Uh, just check that the depth is to foundation. and we can click at grids, select all the grids and click finish. And now view it in the 3D view and it shows the walls, click modify to exit the wall command. So the walls, columns and um, uh, uh, co walls and columns are showing and if we want to change the visual style to shape it will be a more realistic uh, display. So now we will put foundations underneath all the walls and under all the columns, concrete piers and columns. Under the walls we will put the 300 deep and 600 wide foundation. To do that uh, we need to select and you know, pick is in the foundation um, panel pick wall. Um, in the type selector change to bearing footing and the one available is 900 by 300 so again we need to modify this type click into edit type duplicate and change it to 600 <coughs> by 300 and change uh, the width to 600 Uh, if we want to view this type, uh, yes, we can't view this type. Uh, if we uh, now want to place uh, this uh, under the wall, 
uh, we can hover. Uh, so this is the type of foundation we are placing. By moving the mouse over one of the walls, uh, we can see that it changes to red. And pressing the Tab key changes the whole uh, wall perimeter to red. And then if we click uh, on the wall, on the wall, the foundation uh, is going to be placed underneath. So the foundation has been placed and that can be checked in uh, the elevation. And it can be checked also in uh, 3D view. And now uh, we are going to uh, place also um, 900 by 900, uh, 300 millimeter deep foundations, uh, pad foundations under the columns. So we again need to be in the foundation view and pick the isolated tool this time. Uh, in the type selector, choose footing rectangular, any of these, and edit type, duplicate, and this one will be 900 times 900 times 300 okay and the dimensions are width is 900 length is 900 thickness is 300 and okay so we have now selected the type that we needed square and actual square uh, foundation pad and we want to place it underneath all the columns so we can uh, just click at columns and then select all the columns and click finish uh, zoom in uh, s first click on modify to exit and then zoom in to view the pad foundations under the columns. Uh, we have some extra columns uh, outside the grid and we can uh, delete them by selecting, selecting them. Uh, to select two or more uh, we can uh, delete a uh, draw in the window around and if uh, pressing the control key the other one can be added uh, and the foundation as well or we can just do these ones first and then the last one. Uh, so now uh, we have completed uh, the fully the foundations uh, for this project and are drawing in 3D view. Make sure everything is fine. Um, we haven't forgot we have forgotten to uh, delete the columns which are at the level of um, first floor and there will be one more in the corner which we can see in the floor one view and this column can be 
vérité des arts.